Hey YouTube, underneath my Jeep again. Uh, this time I'm going to measure for a uh, drive shaft. I did order a, a uh, slip, slip yoke eliminator kit that will replace this uh, um, tail housing in the back here and the, uh, the actual slip yoke part and I have to replace both my drive shaft and and uh, this rear uh, tail shaft in my uh, transfer case. And uh, it's from Advanced Adapters. And what it'll do is it'll put a yoke like this on the end of it. And actually, it's more like that yoke that's, oops, there we go. That is sitting right there. A yoke like that on that end and then what will happen is, is I'll have a double carton uh, joint up here and there's just a single joint here. I kind of noticed that this uh, particular rear end does tip up a little bit and that's probably why I'm getting my vibration. Uh, both uh, the angle on this one right here is greater than the angle here. So that'll actually work out really good with a double carton CV joint uh, because this angle should be pretty much put, trying to point right at the back end of the transfer case. And it, it's it's down a little bit, but uh, if I need to change it, I'll just put some wedges in the uh, um, spring uh, uh, mounts and stuff like that, U-bolts right there, loosen those up and put a wedge in. And then uh, tip this up just a little bit, but I, I think I'll be fine. Uh, so what I'm supposed to do here, you're really supposed to install the slip yoke eliminator in first, but uh, I think uh, they pretty much know, the companies pretty much know that uh, the measurements uh, of the uh, slip yoke eliminator and the pinion on the Dana 35 are going to be uh, pretty much 33 and a half inches in its resting spot so uh, they just kind of want you to double check because I was looking on uh, you can actually buy a drive shaft from Rough Country I'm going to get mine from Adams uh, drive shafts and off-road I believe that's the name of the company and uh, I Made a mistake, I should have bought the uh, slip yoke eliminator from them too because their advanced price on it when you get a drive shaft coupled with it is not really that bad of a deal. But uh, nevertheless, I, uh, I guess I'm living with my uh, decision. So, But at the same time, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace the front drive shaft too because I did notice that there is some play uh, in the slip part of that. So... So what they say is I should measure from the face of this, and I'll just point my finger of this uh, particular part here. Uh, they show it with the speed uh, sensor out of it, but uh, when I did measure from that point to this point right here, sorry for the... Uh, yeah, right here to this point right here I did come up with uh, 40 and a quarter inches uh, so they told me I needed a 33 and a half inch drive shaft so if you take the two and subtract from each other uh, that uh, the actual uh, u-joint uh, the yoke when uh, and it's in its final spot here when I get this replaced is uh, six and seven or six and three quarter inches away from the uh, uh, of, of the uh, deal here. And I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually uh, demonstrate that. I don't have enough hands, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my phone down and uh, measure out six and three quarter. So six and three quarters probably somewhere right here let me pick my phone up again point that out to you sorry for all this so what i'm coming up with is right about there is 
where the end of that yoke uh, is going to be. Uh, and so it would be a measurement from here, clear over to here, that uh, uh, should be right around 33 and a half inches. But uh, same goes for the front too. Uh, it's pretty much just from the middle of the last uh, U-joint that connects to the yoke on a transfer case on the front output shaft. Uh, to the actual uh, pinion yoke uh, and I come up with 31 and a half for the front so that are the figures I will get them if I think these guys are smart enough and if you tell them something that's going to be uh, quite a bit off or you made a mistake I think they're going to question uh, your uh, measurement and I do appreciate that but so far I've measured this thing probably about four times and uh, I'm going to stick with it. And uh, it pretty much comes out to the same as what that rough country shaft for the rear and slip yoke eliminator comes to. Uh, why not buy it from rough country? I'm not sure because uh, really it's pretty much about the same price. Uh, but uh, uh, Adams looks like they're a pretty good company. And uh, I happen to see quite a bit on YouTube about them. And they seem to be quite the... Uh, uh, class act so I'm gonna go with them and uh, they have put up with me for a lot of questions and answers and stuff like that they've been really patient with me so I think I, I will run with them uh, I just wish I would have gotten my slip yoke eliminator with them but anyway there you go that's pretty much it the next uh, thing is I'm not sure how uh, <clears throat> I'll probably see if I can't uh, tape uh, this uh, one of the things I can do when I get rid of uh, the slip yoke eliminator or when I put the slip yoke eliminator in uh, I can actually uh, put my uh, cross member back where it was and raise my transmission and uh, transfer case back to where it was here are the uh, here's the uh, adapter that I put in I twisted off the bolt on the other side and uh, um, I'll have to fix that before I put it in, but uh, I actually have uh, kind of a different fix if I can't get that done. And uh, it seems to be working here. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, the plan anyway. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy both drive shafts at once and, and be done with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.